So Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is coming up towards the end of its sixth season. It's um, most likely its second last season. Season 7 is rumoured to be the final season. And season 6 is the shortest season yet with only 13 episodes. But out of all of the shows to be included in the MCU, like the Netflix shows, Cloak and Dagger, Runaways, Agent Carter, all of them, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has always been the one that has tied into the movies the most. While the other ones are just loosely in the MCU, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has always kind of firmly placed itself within the movies. Um, for all of its tie-ins to Winter Soldier, Age of Ultron, it has full-on tie-ins. And it's had even big tie-ins up until the end of last season where there were clear tie-ins to Infinity War. With um, references to the New York invasion, references to the Thanos coming, all of that sort of stuff. Um, so, the fact that Agent Shield Season 6 fails to even try to tie into Endgame really brings up a big question. Is the show still connected to the movies? Because I know that outside of the shows, or like in, in real life, the writers, the producers on the shows, they say that yes, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is still in the MCU, all these shows are still in the MCU. But we can't really take their word for it anymore because their word just doesn't make sense when you actually watch the shows. For example, Jeff Loeb, who's the, uh, who oversees all of the Marvel television shows, he said that season 6 takes place before the snap. And sure, that'd be fine. But season 5 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. clearly shows us that it couldn't. Because the end of season 5 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., um, the last couple episodes, all take place at the exact same time that um, the aliens, or that uh, Ebony Maw and those are attacking Doctor Strange and Tony Stark in New York City at the beginning of Infinity War. That scene takes place during the final three episodes of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5. And since Season 6 takes place a year later, there is absolutely no way that the snap could be after Season 6. The snap would have occurred moments after Season 5 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. ended, so we just can't take it... We just can't take the people's word for it anymore, the people who work on the shows, because it obviously doesn't make sense if we take their word for it. So I'm just trying to, like, wrap my head around, does the show exist in terms of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Does it actually exist with the movies anymore? And I'm gonna say yes, but it's complicated. I basically think that with Season 5 was so heavily involved with time travel and all that, I think the time travel and the fact that the characters were changing the timeline and whatnot, I think that that has thrown them outside of the MCU's timeline. They're still technically in the multiverse, I guess, but they exist on a different timeline. See, this is complicated as well, because Endgame also brought up timeline. and basically said that you can't change time. That also doesn't connect with what happened in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season, uh, season 5, because obviously in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5, they did change time. They saved Earth from the uh, apocalyptic future where the Kree destroyed Earth, or well, or Gravitron destroyed Earth and then the Kree came in and took over what was left of it. Um, they, the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., they changed time by fixing all of that, but then Endgame tells us that you can't change time. I like to think that they are basically running in concurrent timelines now. There is the normal MCU timeline, where Endgame and Infinity War happened like normal, and whatever happened then, like, um, you know, we have a dead Tony Stark, we have uh, Steve Rogers is, is old now, we have Sam Wilson becoming Falcon. That's in timeline A. Then in timeline B, we have things like Loki, who is still out there somewhere. Um, remember in uh, Endgame, in one of the timelines they went back to, had Loki take the Tesseract and he like, basically like, disappeared. That's timeline B, where little things like that have changed. Um, this is like the timeline where the, the events of New York, they happened the exact same way, the events like um, with the Chitauri invasion, but there's little kind of things that are out of place now since the Avengers travelled back to that time. It's timeline B. And timeline C is where Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 6 is. They are outside of what the MCU technically is. They're outside of the main continuity with the movies, but at one point they were there with the movies. This is the only thing that can possibly make sense to me. Because it just doesn't make sense to say the snap still happens in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s timeline. I've seen people try and justify this by saying that the snap still happened, they just don't address it because it was a year ago. But I mean, half of all life got wiped out. No way that they could just pretend that it still happened with the with the way that um, everything is progressing in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Because in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. it just looks like normal, a normal day for everyone. It just looks like normal life. Um, and in Endgame, we clearly see the future is very dark. Everywhere is very dirty. P 
people, yeah, people have moved on, but there's not an awful lot that people are doing. Um, a lot of the cities look very dirty and run down and whatnot. There's still people continuing on with their lives, but mostly it looks pretty dark and dreary. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. looks bright and happy, their Earth, and it just it doesn't compute to me that this could be an Earth where the snap occurred. Um, honestly, this was another problem I had with Far From Home. In Far From Home, they kind of paint the picture that everything's kind of fine now that the snap has been reversed, like, not reversed, but that everyone's back, things are fine now. It shouldn't look like that. The Earth should still be in a bit of a bad situation, considering that you know, five years have passed with half of humanity gone, but that's a different video or whatever. But yeah, this is the only thing I can think can keep Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. in continuity is saying that they're in a different timeline now. Um, I think it's impossible to try and justify them being in the main MCU timeline because it just wouldn't make sense. Uh, I know that there's the possibility that season six will end with the snap occurring because the, the real life uh, explanation for this is that the writers and the people working on the show didn't know what happens in Endgame. They didn't think that the snap was going to play out the way it did. I'm guessing the writers uh, assumed that the snap would be reversed and that things would go back to normal and then if by having Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 6 take place a year later, they could avoid all of that and act like the snap still happened, act like they're still in continuity, but then they, the Russo brothers gave us a huge curb, curveball by having the snap still take place and still have happened. That's kind of a situation that I don't think they were prepared, prepared to deal with. I know that I certainly assumed that they would have um, the snap be reversed. I didn't think they were going to keep the snap having happened because of how it just, in logistics, it wouldn't make sense for future MCU movies and it wouldn't make sense for the TV shows. That's my only real problem with Endgame is that the Russo brothers kind of just, they knew that they were finished with Endgame. Like, they knew that that was their exit of the MCU, so they knew they wouldn't have to deal with the ramifications of whatever they did. And because of that, they basically blew a big hole in future movies, in the TV shows. They made it very awkward for everybody to try and fix. Um, and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. just unfortunately got the bad end of the stick with that, where they kind of have to figure out how to fix things themselves. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on if Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is still canon to the MCU. I think seasons 1 to 5 are still canon with the MCU, but season 6 is technically in a different timeline. So... Whatever happens in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. doesn't affect the movies. Whatever happens in the movies doesn't affect Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. from now on. Um, maybe they'll end up back in the timeline at some point. But that's just what I think. Um, I hope this video was informative. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any ideas for Marvel or DC videos, please let me know and I would love to do them. Um, and I hope you have an awesome day. And please like, share and subscribe and all of that. And uh, thanks.